Well, they're limited. Um, we have the census data, of course. In, in Mexico, they ask uh, Mexican citizens in their census if they've been to the United States in the last five years. And so we know about returned migrants who've been to the United States uh, who are in Mexico. And the U.S. Census asks uh, where you were born. And so we know the number of people born in Mexico. And we also know the number of people who entered in the past five years. And that gives you some data on who are coming and going. And then on the U.S. side, there's immigration statistics system, which is basically entries. So we know how many people enter with permanent resident visas, temporary work visas, business visas, exchange visas, and so on. And so that's about the extent of the official statistics system. Then there are a lot of private efforts, uh, like I run the Mexican Migration Project, and we've been collecting data on documented and undocumented migration from Mexico to the U.S. Uh, for about 30 years. And every year we do a new round of surveys. And with this uh, data set, we can really uh, uh, characterize and follow the trajectory of both documented and undocumented migration over time and look and see the, the, the dynamics underneath the flows that we observe in the official statistics. But that's a project that I've been running with my colleague in Mexico, Jorge Durand, and so it's not part of the government statistics system. I think. Uh, uh, if we had a, a, a migration module on the American uh, surveys, like the current population survey, which is done every month, if they had more questions on migration, and particularly in the census, we need to ask a question on place of birth of parents, which was eliminated from the U.S. Census in 1970. And so now we have about a quarter of the population is a, in first or second generation of immigrant status. And the second generation is crucial to see how immigrants are adapting and integrating. And there's no uh, data uh, on a nationwide source of uh, large sample of, of Americans on the second generation. It's a big defect in our statistical system. So simply adding a question to the census or the American Community Survey on parental birthplace would uh, help us quite a bit. One of the lessons that uh, come out of my work is that uh, statistical systems and official data can't do it all. And so there's always a place for researchers launching their own research projects to gather uh, data that explain the trends, that go behind the trends to look at the dynamics underlying what you observe from national level statistics. And that's what I've tried to do over the course of my career with the Mexican Migration Project.